Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 13 at the Parc des Princes, where Lucas put Paris Saint Germain 1 0 up against their rivals Marseille in the 38th minute after getting on the end of Ezekiel Levetti's cross. Zlatan Ibrahimovic returned after seven weeks out with injury, and he was at the origin of the second. Serge Aurier picking out Edinson Cavani for 2 0. Paris up to second, a point behind Marseille. Well, Lee on a third and just two points off the pace after picking up their fifth straight victory at home to Gangot. Alexandre Lacazette put them ahead in just the seventh minute, becoming Ligue 1's leading goal scorer in the process with 11. And in the 20th minute, there was some fine interplay between Christophe Jolly and Lacazette. The former Paris Saint-Germain man then pulled back for Nabil Fekir to make it 2-0 with a wonderful finish. Gangon did reduce the arrears on the stroke of half-time. A fine free kick from Sylvain Marveau going in off the unfortunate Anthony Lopez. But Leon had the final word. Captain Maxim Gonalon picking out for Kier and a cool finish from the 21-year-old. It finished 3-1. Willie Sagnols at Bordeaux side put their off-field troubles aside with a 2-1 win away to Lens. Wabi Kasri got things rolling in the 24th minute with his fourth goal of the season. And the Tunisian international then turned provider for Sheikh Diabate. That's his fifth of the season, just five minutes before half-time. And even a bit of moral support for Sagnol after his comments about players from different cultural backgrounds. Roland did put one back from the penalty spot through Johan Tuzga, but it finished 2-1 to Bordeaux. Monaco took the lead away to Saint-Étienne in the 17th minute. Nabil Dura pulling back for Jean Moutinho. The Portuguese international making a bit of a hash of it, but setting up Jeremy Toulalon to make it 1-0. That one, in fact, coming off Lucina Traore. However, Lever rescued a point in the 58th minute. The onside Roman Hamuma squaring for Ricky van Volswinkel. A simple finish, 1-1, the final score. Nantes are flying high after coming from behind to beat Caen on Saturday. Well, Mathieu Duhamel put the hosts Caen ahead with the goal of the weekend. A stunning strike, leaving no chance for Remy Rieu. Well, that may have been the pick of the bench, but Nantes were soon level. Five minutes before half-time, Osvaldo Vizcarondo getting that one into the back of the net. And Jordan Veratou and Yassin Bamu then combined to devastating effect in the second half. Veratou sliding home as it finished 2-1. Wren left it very late to down Lorient in Friday's Brittany derby. Substitute Pedro Enrique grabbing the game's only goal in the 89th minute. The poor Georges Antep was at the origin, coming down the left flank here and pulling across the area. There was the Brazilian. It finished 1-0. Toulouse put an end to their miserable run of three consecutive defeats at home to Metz. Pansy Syriex putting them ahead with just three minutes on the clock. And just after the hour mark, Alexander Pesic set Wissam Ben Yedder away. Some fine skill from the under-21 international. And a cool finish, that to make it 2-0. And just over 10 minutes later, he returned the favour, squaring for Pesic to wrap up a 3-0 win for Toulouse, his second goal of the season. After parting ways with Claude Makaleli this week, Bastia picked up a vital win at home to Montpellier. Gagitalo putting them ahead on 21 minutes. It was the Ivorian who was sidelined by Makaleli in recent weeks who doubled the Corsican's lead just before half-time. 2-0 then and interim boss Gislain Pantan off to a winning start. Benjamin Makanjo made it three goals in as many weeks as he put Reims a 1-0 up against struggling Lille. Sebastian Courtier seeing red for a challenge on Gaetan Charbonnier. Lille forced to play over an hour with ten men but it took only seven minutes for Isamani to double Reims' lead. Finished 2-0. Well, finally, Daniel Vass was once again the saviour for Evian Tonon Gaia as they claimed a 1-0 win over Nice. 
the down with a fine free kick in the 76th minute. That's his fifth goal of the campaign and his sixth direct free kick in Ligue 1. Well, all the results from week 13 then, with 23 goals scored, away wins for Bordeaux and Nantes, and just one draw between Saint-Étienne and Monaco, PSG winning that top-of-the-table clash with Marseille. And that means that they are separated by just one point heading into the international break. Lyon are a point further back in third place, ahead of Bordeaux, Nantes and Saint-Étienne. Well, down at the other end, Lorient are bottom with eight defeats in their last nine games. They're joined in the drop zone by Lens and Gangor, while Toulouse jump to 11th. Now, Ligue 1 returns in a fortnight when PSG travel to Metz. Lyon are in Bastia on Saturday, while Nantes host Saint-Étienne on Sunday afternoon. Marseille and Bordeaux are rounding things out on Sunday night. <laughs>